Hello and welcome to TTV News with some latest events in the Nen province. And now we come into details. Ladies and gentlemen, on September 11th, the Nen Provincial Party Committee held its 38th conference to discuss a number of contents presented by the Party Committee of the Provincial People's Committee. Mr. Winton Tom, member of the Party Central Committee, Secretary of Provincial Party Committee, Chairman of Provincial People's Council, Mr. Pham Hung Thai, Standing Deputy, Secretary of Provincial Party Committee, Head of the National Assembly, Direction of the Nen Province, and Mr. Winton Ngoc, Deputy Secretary of Provincial Party Committee, Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, co chair the conference. The Party Committee of the Provincial People's Committee presented a number of contents to be approved by the Provincial People's Council to issue a resolution, including resolution to adjust and supplement the 2024 public investment plan from the local budgets, resolution to adjust and supplement the medium term public investment plan for the period of 2021 to 2025 from the state budget, implementing the policies and financial obligations for investment projects using land managed by the state in the province. And speaking at a conference, Mr. Winton Tom, member of the party central committee, secretary of provincial party committee, chairman provincial people's council emphasized that the contents presented by the party executive committee of provincial people's committee at the conference are extremely important contents, a regular continuous and long-term task of the party committee. And the government and the entire political system from the province to the rest Delegates are also requested to uphold their sense of responsibility and actively contribute their opinions to complete a draft resolution to be submitted to the Vinso People's Council for early promulgation. Mr. Pham Hong Thai, permanent deputy secretary of the provincial party committee and head of national assembly delegation of Tainan Province, visited and extended congratulations to the Gaudai Holiday in Tainan Province on the occasion of the 2024 U3 Palace Banquet Festival. During the visit, Mr. Pham Hong Thai, permanent deputy secretary of the provincial party committee, expressed confidence that Cardinal Thượng Tam Thanh and the Holiday would make the best reparations for the U3 Palace Banquet Festival meeting the spiritual and religious needs of Gaudai followers both at home and abroad. He also hoped that the Gaudai Holiday in the Nen province would organize meaningful activities to support people in the northern province affected by storm number no. 3. Expressing appreciation for the provincial leadership's attention, Cardinal Thượng Tam Thanh, chairman of the Gaudai Shesha Dojo Council of the Nen Holiday, affirmed that the religious leaders and followers comply with party policies and state laws and support the development of the homeland and the nation. He also updated the provincial leaders on reparations for the UJ Palace Banquet Festival. On the morning of September 11th, Mr. Nguyễn Hồng Thanh, member of the Provincial Party Standing Committee, permanent vice chairman of the Nen Provincial People's Committee, had a meeting with Mr. Madan Mohan Sethi, Consul General of India in Ho Chi Minh City, to visit and bid farewell to the end of his term in Vietnam. Mr. Nguyễn Hồng Thanh, member of the Provincial Party Standing Committee, permanent vice chairman of the Nen Provincial People's Committee, had a meeting with Mr. Madan Mohan Sathe, the Council Chairman of India in Ho Chi Minh City. At the meeting, Mr. Madan Mohan Sathe thanked the provincial leaders for supporting Indian enterprises in the past time. Vietnam and India are continuing to strengthen cooperation in various fields. At the meeting, the permanent vice chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, Nguyễn Hồng Thanh, on behalf of the provincial leaders, congratulated Mr. Madan Mohan Sathe on his successful term in Vietnam and thanked Mr. Madan Mohan Sathe for his contribution to the Vietnam-India relationship in general and training India in particular. At the same time, the standing vice chairman of the Provincial People's Committee hopes that, regardless of his position, Mr. Madan Mohan Fethi will be a bridge for Indian enterprises to invest in Tenen Province, and Tenen will create all favorable conditions for Indian enterprises to operate, as well as Indian tourists to come to Tenen Province. On this occasion, Mr. Madan Mohan Sathoy sent an invitation to the leaders of Tenen Province to soon visit and work in India.
and on tomorrow, September 11, Tân Nguyên Food One Member Limited Liability Company officially opened and put into operation Tân Nguyên Store, the inspection stage, the ascent of the sunny land at Badang Mountain National Tourist Area. Visiting and congratulating the opening ceremony, there were Ms. Nguyen Dai Thi, member of the Provincial Standing Committee, permanent vice chairwoman of the Nguyen Provincial People's Council, Mr. Vu Xuân Trường, director of the Nguyen Radio and Television Station. The Nguyen store located inside Bada Station tourist area specializes in selling tin and spice trays, such as shrimp salt, chili salt, rice paper, and in addition, the store also sells dried fruit products, spices, dipping sauces, and products that combine the brand identity of Sun Group. Its product fully embodies the essence of the sunny and windy of the land because on that created in the true sense of specialty produced right in the province. And the store located at the Bading Mountain National Tourist Area will have visitors to visit and travel more easily to the Nen specialties, bringing the quintessence of the Nen into introduced to friends near and far. And it is the second store of the Nguyen Food One Member Limited Liability Company located in the Nen. In recent years, all levels and sectors of Tainan province have always focused on developing tourism in conjunction with reserving and promoting the value of historical and cultural relics. Many places have attracted a large number of visitors, including Chotma Tower in Tang Bing district. The Chotma Tower is an ancient tower located in Somui Hamlet, Tang Phong Commune of Tang Bing district, Tainan province. Chokma Tower is one of the three ancient towers bearing the typical mark of up El culture remaining in the south. And previously, Chokma Tower was little known and was not associated with promoting and developing tourism in the province. Now, after being restored, the roads around the tower have been repaired, and there is a protective wall around the tower, and more trees have been planted also. Jogma Tower was attracted many tourists to visit, especially for those who are passionate about the archaeology. In order to develop tourism as well as promote the image of the tower to the people across the country, the People's Committee of the Commune annually carries out many activities related to this tower, especially in the area of the youth union members, participating in activities and tour festivals related to the youth union members, creating a playground for the students and people to practice the returning to the shore. And currently at Jogma Tower, a Kia called Scanning Board has been installed also, having visitors to easily grasp information and better understand the historical value of the tower. In particular, two local activities associated with the cultural and historical story of Jogma Tower. It has contributed significantly to educating the younger generation, fostering the pride in the good values of their ancestors, and arousing love for the homeland. And throughout the school year, the Tang Phong Commune Youth Union regularly organizes activities for the team members and students and peoples to visit the historical site of Jogmat Tower. And the first purpose is to introduce to the students and the peoples the historical site of Jogmat Tower in their locality. And the second is to organize for the people and the students to learn up and take care of the trees around the tower to protect the landscape of the local historical site. Regarding the historical and cultural relic of Jogma Tower, the Department of Culture and Information will coordinate with the People's Committee of Tang Phong Commune to promote and introduce the historical relic on the electronic information portals of the district and commune on the social networking sites, and will broadcast on the radio system from the district to the restaurants. At the same time, it will be in integrated into school education for the school and through activities of local organizations with many forms of rich and diverse content, such as competitions, performances, and activities to return to the shore. In the coming time, Tang Bing District will continue to implement many firms to promote and introduce the image of Chok Ma Tower more widely to the tourists in and outside the province, contributing to the development of the local tourism. The audience, on the morning of September 11, Ms. Nguyen Thị Xuân Hương, member of the Provincial Party Standing Committee, head of the Provincial Party Commission for Propaganda and Education, head of the Social Culture Board of the Provincial People's Council, led a monitoring session on food safety management across various departments and sectors. Discussion with the Department of Health, the Agriculture and Rural Development, and the Department of Industry and Trade reviewed several issues in food safety management in the province. 
Key challenges include difficulties in controlling the origin and safety of food at small scale production and strict food businesses, managing food sales and advertising on digital platforms, and dealing with overlapping responsibilities and unclear regulations in food safety management and inspections. At a monitoring session, Ms. Nguyễn Thị Xuân Hương, member of the Provincial Party Committee Standing Board, head of the Provincial Party Committee's Commission for Propaganda and Education, chair of the Culture and Society Committee, and chair of the Provincial People's Council, urged departments to strengthen communication to raise awareness and responsibility among food businesses and consumers. She also emphasized the need for increased food safety inspections and monitoring, while reducing overlap interests among the departments of industry and trade, health and agriculture, and rural development. And on September 10, the interdisciplinary inspection team of food hygiene and safety of the Lenin City conducted a food safety inspection during the Mid-Autumn Festival at the food production and trading establishments in Nintan Woods and discovered the violations. Two inspections at Huy Hung Phak T and Hung Phak No. 2 on the 784th Street Ninh Quarter Nintan Woods specializing in selling rice paper, chili sauce, etc. The team discovered that this facility is currently selling many products that violate the food safety conditions in the food preservation. Specifically, at the time of inspection, the authorities discovered that some products on display show signs of damage, mount, and spray is stated on the product labels, such as ferment tofu or gel, rice paper, peanuts, etc. And the inspection team rear up a record requested the owner of the establishment to destroy all of the unsafe food products and committed to comply with the food safety regulations and invited the owner to the City People's Committee headquarters to handle the violation. The Union of Science and Technology Associations of Tenen Province has just organized a workshop on social appraisal of the effectiveness after investing in the construction of infrastructure development projects for crop conversion in Goyo District. The projects on infrastructure developments for crop conversion in Baudong Commune Goyo District, the fracking project combined with the construction of internal traffic roads for drainage canals, is invested by the Tenant Agriculture and Development Investment and Construction Project Management Board. The project passed through three communes of Goyo District, started construction on June 30th of 2020, and was handed over for use in April the 11th of 2022. And through a field survey, the Social Appraisal Council of the Tenant Union of Science and Technology Associations commented that the project has not yet started the current situation of flooding and the current situation of verb structure and power system serving production. And therefore, when setting the project goal of draining water for 800 hectares, there is not enough data, so there is no basis to evaluate the effectiveness of verb structure conversion. Speaking at workshop, Ms. Yung Thi Thu Hing, chairwoman of the Rinsou Union of Science and Technology Association, affirmed that the workshop aims to analyze and evaluate the results and effectiveness after investing in project construction in order to have a basis for proposing and recommending the management, exploitation, and use of the projects in the coming term. Located in the border areas, like our border guards, stick with the people and villages, helping people when incidents occur during the rainy and flood season. Immediately after receiving information about a landslide on a house in Silolau commune of the night of September the night, Silolau border girls quickly arrived at the scene to search for victims and bring valuables to safe place. And on the morning of September the 10th, the soldiers, soldiers from Sin Suho and Silolau border posts evacuated two households, encouraged families with degraded relatives and overcame the consequences of the natural disaster. In Phong Thao districts, where there are many landslides prone areas in the border area, the soldiers from Sin Suho and Silolo Vang Ma Chai, who illumined border posts, are always on duty at the villages and places at risk of landslides to promptly rescue and provide assistance and then to encourage the people to follow instructions of the authority to ensure the safety during the rainy and flood season. When the incident occurred, the force mobilized for 15 soldiers along with the local authorities to help the people and overcome natural disasters. We regularly encourage the people to limit travel to landslide-prone areas. In the areas that break of landslide entering the people's houses, we encourage people to temporarily move to a safe place. 
During the night, a landslide entered my house and caused damage to the people in the houses. The family is very grateful to the Chow Church and local authorities who were present in time and at night to support the family as well as help me. This morning, everyone gathered to help the family repair the house to stabilize their lives. The broker forces has strongly helped the local people overcoming the consequences of the natural disaster. And this day, when the complicated flood situation has rightly affected the people and property, the Lycho Broker Command has directed the front life forces at the Rasul level to be on duty 24 over 7 days, wraps information, be ready to help the people and move the livestock in flooded and landslide area to safety. And the Lycho Broker has prepared response plans for all situations that may arise. Meanwhile, the Deputy Prime Minister Holy Fook has just signed a decision to provide the rights from the natural reserves to support for 14 localities affected by the storm number 3 in 2004. Specifically, the Prime Minister assigned the Ministry of Finance to provide for 200 tons of rice from the natural reserve without collecting money to the Ministry of Trade, a Public Security, National Defense, and Ministry for 100 tons of rice to provide relief for the people in the localities of Lao Cai, Hoa Bình, Sơn La, Lai Châu, Điện Biên, Hà Giang, Cao Bằng, Bắc Cạn, Yên Bái, Tuyên Quang, Phú Thọ, Bắc Giang, Thái Nguyên, and Lạng Sơn affected by the storm number 3 in 2024. And the Prime Minister requested the Ministry of Public Security and the Ministry of National Defense to proactively work directly with the Ministry of Finance to organize the reception of National Reserve goods in accordance with the regulations, direct functional units to actively and proactively coordinate with the borough localities to urgently organize relief to ensure the timely appropriateness and targets and norms according to regulations avoiding loss and waste. Ladies and gentlemen, in response to the challenges faced by residents in Tangwin Province and the overwhelmed rescue teams, a strong spirit of solidarity has emerged. Over the past two days, numerous aid vehicles from across the country have arrived in Tangwin Province, delivering essential supplies such as boards, life vests, drinking water, and food to support the affected community. A rescue point such as Quang Vinh Iron Bridge, Binh Tưởng Bridge, Bada Bridge, etc. from early morning, and there were long lines of vehicles carrying food supplies to the people. When we arrived in Taiwan, we had a large motorboat to pick up people still stuck in the flood zone. In addition, our group also had many necessities such as nearly a thousand cartons of milk, nearly a thousand cartons of water, instant noodles, and other necessities such as 500 life jackets and more than 2,000 rechargeable lamps. In the past two days, hundreds of individuals who know how to ride safe boats and canals from all over the country have come to Taiwan with many rescue equipment and essential supplies to support the local people here. Dong Bam World has 10 residential groups and in this flood, on 10 over 10 were flooded, including 8 residential groups that were completely flooded. And today, on the third day, the people are starting to need more necessities. And currently, the water level on the Gao River is gradually decreasing. However, in Taiwan City alone, thousands of households, including 22 worlds and communes, are still submerged in the water from 1 to over 10 meters deep. Thousands of people are still clinging to their homes and evacuating to control houses, schools, etc., still needing food supplies for every meal. And the community solidarity at this time with the spirit of helping each other has contributed to giving the people more strength to overcome the hardship, stabilize their spirits, and go through the storm and floods together. And that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.